Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today is Sunday, and it is March 12th of 2023. It's Sunday evening. It's about 7.30 in the evening. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius. And now I'm going to do to Mark Sanders and to Jay. Mark Sanders is from uh, Bonsai Gardens with Mark Sanders. And Jay is from Blue Jay Bonsai. I want you guys to get tough, stay strong. Then I'm going to show you what else is wrong with my money tree. So for Mark Sanders, he's been going through a rough time. I hope you guys can view. He just did a video. I hope you guys can go to his video, please, and give him a thumbs up because he had a lot of, a lot of tough times this past uh, last year going through cancer and everything and then uh i think it's wednesday he said he's going to go for uh uh an mri full body and blood work to hope that he can go through and get this new uh treatment for cancer so keep your fingers crossed for him go to his video please give him a thumbs up on there show him your support i'd appreciate that and this and for a bond and then for uh blue jay bonsai jay's going through some uh Going to have some surgical procedures done. So, Jay, if everybody can go to his channel and give him a good thumbs up, I'd appreciate that, too, his last, his last video. And same thing for Mark Sanders, do his last video. Give them both all a thumbs up. Show them uh, words of encouragement and everything. Please do that for me because these guys are great guys. And I know what it is to, to be what it is, <laughs> so to say. But, gentlemen, stay tough. That's why I put the, on, the, on the title, Get Tough. And I know you guys are positive, and you guys are going to be good and great and everything else. I know that for a fact. Now, today we're going to do an emergency money tree uh, repot. It's on the decline. I'm going to use the soil I used. Well, first I'll show you the tree. You can say, Tom, the trunk looks good. Ah. If I squeeze a little bit, it's starting to get spongy. And in there, it's starting to get spongy. What does that mean? It's starting to rot, too much water. Money trees like a nice, fast-draining soil, and I thought the soil I used would be fast-draining enough, but it was not. So, we're going to have to get it out, because we did this on 122 of 2023 for the year of the rabbit. So, I'm going to jiggle it out. You can see the roots are growing, but it's spongy. So let's put them on the side here for the time being. Let's get all this old soil out. You're going to say, Tom, you put in that, uh, the, uh, the mecos. Yeah, but if the soil doesn't drain, it's not going to keep the, the roots from rotting. And I also had this in there to help it drain, but I guess it didn't work. So, you know, to wick out the old stuff. So, we're going to try something different. And Marisol Dealey from Frostbite Bonds. I haven't been able to buy that stuff yet from Amazon. Ah, with the arthritis in the back, everything's going Changralala goofy. <laughs> Not Changraletta, Changralala. So I'm scraping all this stuff out of the pot. Just like that. I'm going to get my brush and just brush all the junk out of the sides. Let's get it all out. I'm going to say, Tom, this ain't the pot for it. I know it's not, but this is the pot Roy wanted to try. But, Roy, I thought I'd give you a good gift. But, old Tom here is not having very good luck on this. And, the tree that I didn't pot, it's growing like crazy and just peat moss. I mean, it grew about that much. <laughs> Believe it or not. So, let's put this down, get my spoon, don't lose the spoon. 
and then we're gonna take so you can see what I'm doing I'll have to do it left-handed and we're just gonna hold it up because it's it's real soft there so I'm gonna really not do much to it I'm just gonna get all this this uh, what soil off the root system and then we're gonna just pot it and let it sit a little bit the roots are still there so they should be still viable they're not blackened the soil smells fresh so it's not rotting so now now let's get the old soil out of the way put that there okay Tom what are we gonna do first we're gonna put a screen on the bottom we got our screen here and then we're gonna go see I try to wick it out with this it's wet but it didn't wick out enough moisture so all it's the drainage for these trees the drainage so I'm glad I did this one and experimented with it so I'm gonna get my little bag of rocks here and what I'm going to do if I can get them out because you can see all the nooks and crannies in here first I don't know why they made pots like that but what are you gonna do and I got these are the thicker rocks I'm gonna use this for just drainage make sure it gets in there I can always buy another bag but a tree like this you can't buy so that's going to go in all the nooks and crannies and then I have it so the tree is actually sitting on top of all these rocks so whatever excess water is in there it's just going to drain see what I mean we got it up about that high so uh, Tom, you're all discombobulated here. Okay, so here's my mix. And all I did was spray it down because I didn't have time to sift it or nothing with all this cold weather out there. It's been raining and snowing at the same time, so it's a pukey day. A pukey day. So here's the mix. And fluorite is, uh, you can get that any, uh, like Pet Smart. That's the only place I've seen it. I didn't. I don't, they might have it at Petco. I haven't checked Petco. But uh, I know they have it at Pet Smart. And it's just a, a clay stratum. Uh, let me get the bag so you can see what I'm talking about. If I don't trip over my cord, ah, this is it. And all of this is a hardened clay. That's the fluorite. Good stuff. And you can see time it turns the mud. No, it doesn't. I got it in my fish tanks for over a year now, and it's still good. So don't let anybody fool you on that. So let's take our tree. You can see this part died off. That should have been a sign for me. I'm going to stick it in there like that. And then, let's see, I'm gonna put it over here. I'm, not, I'm gonna get, uh, once this starts to grow, then I can put some, uh, what do you call it, mikos in there. Give it a good start or just wet it and water it in when it is time to water. Just like that. So, if your money tree's on a decline, and it's going to come out this way, well, Tom, let's move it over just a little bit. There we go. Get it in. There's no roots, so to say. It's just hanging in there. Give it up about that much. 
Let's see if we can save my mistake. You live and you learn. And the one just in peat, when it turns a light brown, then I water it. With the other one, I, sh I used a toothpick messer, but dummy me, it didn't dry out enough in the basement. But you live and you learn. Now I got some other money trees from Roy that he gave me and I saved a couple so we're going to have to do a repotting on that but not not today. Excellent root rake. Excellent. <laughs> you don't have to buy a fancy one if you got an old uh, what do you call it? A barbecue fork or a steak fork. And All I'm going to do uh, is just get the air pockets out. There we go. There. And then I'll change the date on here and see what's going to see if this tree will really grow and I can save it from becoming mushy because that's why money trees die. If they look strong and fat, but if you touch, you can just feel them starting to go because they'll rot from the inside out. So can we save it? I don't know. But hey, you live and you learn. And if I don't try and figure out what it is, I had to put on my old Sherlock Holmes hat and see what's going on. <laughs> now, I don't smoke a pipe. I used to, but not no more. I haven't smoked a pipe and I don't know over, Jesus, it's gotta be 50 years. <laughs> Maybe, no, yeah, about 50 or 45. But let's give it a shot. Let's see if it'll grow. I don't know. But hopefully I could save it. It doesn't hurt to, to go after your little ones and get them to grow. So I'm going to let it sit for a good week. And all I can do... I'm just going to put some water right here. So if the roots are going to grow, it's going to seek water. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. And that's it with Mr. Elephant. And there we go. So it's Sunday. I'm not going to bore you with uh, any more trivias today. But I do want you to go. I mean, the trivia is with the tree. But I do want you to please go to Mark. Uh, Bonsai Gardens with Mark Sanders. He's only got like four views. I mean, hey, go in there and give this poor guy a, a thumbs up. Give him some encouragement. Help him to stay tough. And same thing with Jay. Go to their last video and give him a, a good thumbs up. Mark just did one today, though. I was surprised to see it. That was great of Mark. I'm glad you're doing better, Mark. But I know you're still fighting this, this evil disease. And I know you can, you can do it. So I'm going to put our rabbit in there for the year of the rabbit. And Mark and Jay, our hearts are out for you. The bonsai, your bonsai family is there for you. Now, today's Sunday. It's family day. I know it's past 6 o'clock. I know we had to push our the clocks forward. So if I'm a little goofy today. So it's family day after 6 o'clock. Make sure you get that phone off. You don't need to listen to the phone. You're with your family. Your family comes first. It's Sunday. It's family night. From 6 o'clock on, you sit with your wife, your children, and just enjoy each other's company. Put on some Lawrence Walk music. or an old Lawrence Walk video when music was music. Sit back with a nice hot cup of tea. Make a little hot chocolate for the kids if you're in the warmer regions and a nice glass of lemonade. And just sit back and relax and enjoy each other's company. And remember, Mark, Jay, your bonsai family is with you. We support you all the way. Get tough. Hang in there. And I know you guys are great. Take care, everybody, and have a good night. <laughs>